welcome. In the previous video, I had shown you three different ways by which you can execute your app script code. But in this video, we have a fourth way that is called triggers. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to execute your Google app script code using triggers. So let's get started. In one of my previous videos, I had shown you how to limit Google form responses using Google app script in that we had used a trigger. So now I'm going to be showing you how to add this trigger. So in order to access the script, we need to go and click on the three dots and click on script editor. Here I have the limit responses code. This checks the number of responses present in the Google sheet and checks whether it has matched the max responses. And as soon as it matches it, it closes the Google forms and the Google form stops accepting responses. So now we're going to be adding a trigger. So in order to add triggers to your Google app script code, you need to click on the triggers button here and here you can see that there are no triggers at the moment in order to add a trigger you need to click on add trigger here you can see choose which function so we had the limit responses we have only one so we're going to stick to limit responses then we have from this we have to select the event source so the source for this script is going to be the google form from the form so we're going to select on from the form and on form submit. So we need to count the number of responses as soon as someone fills the form. So we're going to be clicking on on form submit and you can either notify daily, weekly, hourly, immediately. That's up to you. After you're done making the changes that are mentioned, click on save and it will save the trigger. It will take a few seconds and the trigger has been saved. Now let's go ahead and make an entry in our Google form. So I'll just go click on the preview. This is the cloud computing workshop. I'm going to enter my name, Aryan Irani. I'm going to add my email address. That is Aryan Irani at the rate gmail.com. And I'm just going to add a phone number here. And I'm going to click on submit. Now, if you go back to the Google form, you can see that the Google form has stopped ac accepting responses. This means that our trigger that we created has successfully worked. I hope you understood how to use triggers to run your Google Apps Script code. I will be leaving the previous video links in the description and other details that you'll require. If you want to work with this form, I'll be leaving the form link in the description. You can work with it. Thank you so much for watching.